Students Loan Trust Fund. Our tagline is to provide equal access to tertiary education. Student Loan Trust Fund was established in 2005 and offers loan to eligible students to alleviate the financial difficulties that they encounter. You qualify to apply for the loan if and only if 1. You are a Ghanaian 2. You have gained admission to study an accredited tertiary program in an accredited institution in Ghana and 3. You are pursuing an undergraduate tertiary program such as diploma or degree. In order to apply for the loan, you must have a SNET number, an active email address, an e-switch card, an active phone number, and a guarantor to guarantee the loan for you. This video guides you in applying for the loan. To create an account, visit our website at www.srtf.gov.gh and you can do that by launching your favorite browser. Now, in the address box, type www.srtf.gov.gh and punch enter on your keyboard. Under the student loan section, click on apply now button. A dialog window with description of the various kinds of loan application option is displayed. Application for the student loan can be made via manual process called paper application or electronically called the online application. The online application process allows prospective applicants to apply directly whilst they are connected to the internet. Choose the appropriate option that applies to you by clicking on paper application for prospective paper application applicants or the online application button for prospective online applicants. If you click on the online button, a new page or tab with the various options is open in a browser currently being used. To complete an online application, you need to create an account. To create an account, click on Create an Account button. A dialog window containing an eligibility requirement form is displayed. This verifies whether you are suitable or qualified for the loan application. You must satisfy or meet all the necessary requirements before you can continue with the process. Are you a Ghanaian citizen living and schooling in Ghana? Have you obtained admission to study an approved program on a full-time basis in an approved tertiary institution? Are you pursuing an undergraduate course leading to the award of diploma, HND or degree? Do you have a valid email address? Do you have a personal phone number? Do you have a valid student identification number? Do you have a social security number? Or reference number? Do you have e-switch number or account? Scroll down. Have you obtained a guarantor? Please go to requirement of guarantor to obtain more information. You can click here to read more. Yes. Have you ever received loan from LSRTF for another program of study or to another tertiary education? Myself, I have not, so I have to click on no. If you have, please click on yes. Have you read the student loan application guideline? Yes, I, I have read it. After clicking on the submit and continuum button, a registration portal is displayed. We have email. Enter your email address. Complete the form and click on create an account button to proceed. Note, all fields, that is email address, over here, social security number, phone number, password must be filled before you can proceed. If there are no issues with your registration, an email will be sent to your email address you use for the registration. You are prompted with this message. Your account has been created successfully and a confirmation email has been sent to your email address. Please check your email 
confirm your registration and come back to the re complete your form depending on your email client that is being at yahoo gmail hotmail the message may take a while now go to your email service provider mine is gmail so i have to type www.gmail.com hit enter on my keyboard enter your username and your password after i click on sign in now check your inbox you receive a message from slcf that you must confirm your registration i'm lucky to have mine in my inbox if yours is not in your inbox please check in your spam or junk folder if it happened to be on your junk folder copy the link right click and paste it in a new window or tab The page reloads again with the message that you have successfully activated your account. If you don't receive the email sent, visit our offices or call our help desk. Step 2. How to log in and complete a form. Click on complete a form button to log in and to complete your form. Provide your username and password in the fields provided on the login tab. If you check the keep me login option, your login section is kept by the browser for subsequent logins. After login, a legal notice appear with the message note that whatever information you provide in your loan application will be used in assessing your financial need it is your best interest to provide accurate information in the course of filling your application however you are liable and may be prosecuted if found to have provided any false information with regard to your loan application if you agree with the legal notice click on the i agree and continue button to proceed else click on the i disagree and discontinue to exit. If you click on the I agree and continue button, you are presented with the electronic application form. The form is grouped into 11 sections or categories, namely applicant information, socioeconomic characteristics, applicant educational background, father's information, mother's information, household dependent, financing and cost of education, household assets, benefactor information, guarantor information, and the last one, which is the 11th one, review. Applicant information. Under this section, you are required to provide your personal details, identification numbers, such as student identification number, SNET or reference number, e-switch number, voter's ID, email, etc. and your household housing information. Note, you are required to fill all the field except those labeled optional which are not mandatory. Please note that you would not be able to proceed to the next step if you leave any mandatory question unanswered.
socio-economic characteristics. This section allows you to provide your current employment details and any disabilities, that is, if you have any. Applicant educational background. Information regarding your current tertiary institution and educational history details are provided. Father's information. You are required to provide your father's personal details, employment details, and disability details, if any. mother's information. You are required to provide your mother's personal details, employment details, and disability details, if any.
household dependents. Under this section, you provide personal and disability details of your household, if any. Otherwise, you click on No Dependent Continuum button to proceed. A household dependent is any person who is currently in school and is being catered for in the household. You are also to note that supporting documents such as birth certificates will be required as evidence from applicants who indicated that they had household dependents. Financing and cost of education. This section allows you to provide details on how much you expect to spend averagely on your tertiary education for a current academic year. household assets. Under this section, you are required to provide information on assets owned by your household and where assets like houses, farms, lands and livestock, if any, are located. Benefactor information. Under this section, you are required to provide the details of any corporate institution or an individual who provide an assistant or aid in any form to you apart from your father or mother or guardian. Otherwise, you click on No Benefactor Continuum button to proceed. Guarantor information. Information regarding any type of guarantor being its net former, SNIT informal, church, Islamic denomination, corporate and metropolitan, and municipal district assemble, you choose is provided by you. Review. This section 
summarize the details you have provided under the various categories for inspection. If you observe you have made any mistake with respect to particular information provided, you can always click on the section under which the information can be located to make the necessary changes. Otherwise, you click on Submit Loan Application for Processing button to proceed. Click on Submit Loan Application for Processing button to proceed. A page with information below is displayed. Your application has been successfully sent to Student Loan Trust Fund. Please check your email and login application portal to check for more updates. Read through, print the summary and submit two copies each. Attach relevant documents to it but please do not send original copies. Now wait for your file to download after downloading. Double click on the file and take your time and go through. If you are okay with it, you can choose to save the file or click on print to print it instantly if you are connected to a printer or you are at the cafe. You can also use Ctrl P to print. You try logging in into our system and you face challenges that is you enter your email address your password you clicked on sign in then authentication field invalid username or password is displayed you try the second time and you still have the same message there are two things involved is either you don't have an account with us that is SLTF or you have forgotten your password. If you are sure you have an account with SLTF, that is Student Loan Trust Found, then what you need to do is go to Forgetting Password tab, click on it, and type your email address here. Afterwards, click on Reset Password. Good. You have this message that a new password has been sent to your email address. So go to your email service provider open a new window or new tab your login name then your password afterwards click on sign now go to your inbox and you see message from student loan trust fund password requests Click on it. If it's not in your inbox, you can check your spam or junk folder. Now over here, I have my username. That is my email address and I have my new password. This password is not my original password. It's a password that has been generated by the system because I have forgotten my password. 
So all I need to do is select this password, right click and copy. Now go to the student loan trust fund webpage. Click on complete a form again. Go to login tab. I'm sure of my email address, so I have to type my email. Now after typing my email address, because the password is complicated, it's very good for you to copy the password and paste it here instead of trying to memorize it. You can also write it down so that you type it in the password tab. So you right click and click on paste. Now I have my new password over here. You can click on login to proceed. To use the paper application, visit our website at www.sltf.gov.gh and punch enter on your keyboard. Under the student loan section, click on apply now button. The paper application process allows prospective applicants to download application forms that need to be completed manually. If you click on paper button, you are presented with another window that contains the procedure involved in the paper application process. You are required to select a guarantor type to use for your application. There are six types of guarantors, namely SNET Formal, SNET Informal, Church, Islamic Denomination, Corporate, Metropolitan and Municipal District Assembly. Select the appropriate guarantor that applies to you and click on Download. So you select the appropriate option that applies to you and click on download your download manager will prompt you so you can click on start download button if you are using windows default downloader you have to click on save file now my download is complete you can go to my computer downloads to view the downloaded folder or you can use the shortcut over here open folder. double click on it and you have your paper application complete this form and submit it to our office let's take a quick tour on SLTF menu. We have the dashboard here. The dashboard help you to get an app. We have registration approval at the time that my registration to the time and date my registration was approved. You can go to the next page or jump to the last page. Over here you can change your password by clicking here or you can scroll up and click on change password be are the same. If in one way or the other you think your password has been compromised or someone has had unauthorized access of your password and you have to change it, use the change password feature by following the following steps. So you can either click here or click on change password. So let me use this button change password. I have current password new password and confirm new password so i think my old password has been compromised so what i have to do is i have to type my old password now over here type a new password that i think no one knows now afterwards you can click on change password to change your password you can see your password has been successfully changed you can scroll up go to the application menu click on it now this button or this session allows you to jump to any part of your application any category that you want click on this menu to navigate through the various sections of the application to change any information under the various categories or sections so over here you can jump straight to household assets 
click on it and change information under household assets now you have the change password tab you can click on the change password tab you have your current password new password and new password as shown previously the help to or the help menu is an important tool that you should take note of this tool goes further to explain almost every question that is bothering you after clicking on it a pop-up window would display all the necessary help guidelines you need in completing your form now if on benefactor information you don't understand anything or a particular thing under benefactor information all you need to do is click on it and it will give you all the details under benefactor information so over here benefactor is a corporate institution or an individual who provide an assistant to the applicant now we have the field we have snet number the snet number of individual benefactor we have the national id card it goes further to explain what it means now if you don't understand the socio-economic characteristics click on it and it will open a help guide under socio-economic characteristics for you to read more now you can see employment details in this section the applicant provide his or her employment details either present or previous note all fields are required we have field we have meaning we have occupation your job description at your firm of employment now let's jump to locality of employment the area or suburb where your firm of employment is situated now you can jump to household assets and read more under household assets now household assets this captured all the assets of the applicant household below is the table that gives the meaning of the field in this section now we have number of houses owned meaning the total number of houses the applicant household owns size of land owned that is plot the size of the land in plot owned by the applicant household so the help guide is a wonderful tool and it will help you a lot in case you don't understand anything all you need to do is click on the help guide menu and navigate through the various sections to read more when you are true with your application process or if due to one or two reasons you have to postpone your online application to a latter day it is very very important to log out click on log out to log out or to sign out this means that any person or group of persons who try to log in into the system have to enter your email address and password which is known by you alone good